the digital world. Oh man, I'm gonna get a hacking tutorial. We've been doing a lot of legwork on this job, but it's going to require a trip to cyberspace and back to the ID the Ripper. The Matrix, the cybernetic analog of Inside the Grid. The worldwide computer network, a digital world information brought to life. Inside cyberspace, your avatar does all the work while your meat body is left behind. On around your avatar are pathways to other nodes filled with data, IC, counter-intrusion programs, and other jacked and runners. Cyberspace has uh, as many dangers as the meat world and more. Locked doors, security countermeasures, and black IC that can fry a Decker's brain. Every movement you make in the Matrix can be tracked if you aren't careful. Get dumb shocked out and your brain gets fuzzy for a bit. Get hit by an enemy Decker and you can die. Right, so I mean, I do high stakes stuff all the time as a runner. It's not like that's a big deal, but whatever. Anything in here? I use the thing. Oh, that's my locker actually, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? I equipped the other guys and I don't think I got the items back. They would try to. Doc isn't around. What are you? Oh, Van Grass. Hey, I have a thing here. Was hoping to get some peace and quiet tonight. You got something for me? I got a flight recorder. Wouldn't happen to be an Ares flight recorder, would it? Some very powerful buyers looking for that right now. I can get rid of it for you if you say 20%. I'll use 2000 for you. <sighs> Why do I never have the right etiquettes? I didn't choose my etiquettes this time, so. Pleasure doing business. Yes, yeah, so. Okay, yeah, and that mostly, that did not quite, but mostly paid for the run in terms of runners, because I bought like I hired like a couple people that was over two thousand, just slightly over two thousand. So, you know, I did okay, I guess. Hey, boy, David tried too. Morning. You look like you've been up all night. You look like you've seen some action too. <laughs> I suppose I could use a shower. Can I throw you to a DNA analysis? Hmm, the castle's equipment isn't really set up for that. However, I could employ a semiconductor chip. It could decode the DNA using a voltage change instead of light. That would eliminate the use of a highly expensive equipment that would be required otherwise. Really? I just read a journal about it, so the information is still fresh. Frankly, it should be easy. What do you want to know about it? The identity, really. Oh, well, that's beyond me. All I can get you is the gene code sequence. Well, that's where I come in. David, if you can get me that code sequence, I'm pretty sure we can track its owner down via the Matrix run. Will do! I may have the DNA and want a test. Good friend. Simplicity, when David gives me the sequence, I'll jack and help you trace the blood sample back to its source. Thank you for helping me on the tutorial mission. By the way, I, I I know about jacking because you were forced to do it as well in Dragonfall, but only briefly. That's not something I was doing in that run either. I was doing Bruiser again. I, I just want to keep it simple for the first full run, right? Uh, I didn't do a full run of Dragonfall, so I'm, I'm still on the Bruiser run. <sighs> Thanks. No drag! Wake up, John and boy, I've got work to do. In simplicity, if you need any gear, I'll be right here. I just got a second win. Meet you at my rig, simplicity. Two karma, that's actually enough <laughs> for a thing. And then I'm gonna need two more. No, three more, actually. I, I cannot count right, apparently. You get another one of these, and then you get these. Confirm. Maybe I should increase like charisma and other stuff. That might be worth it, I think. I don't know. Instead of just quickness, body, and a little bit of strength. I mean, charisma is one. It's garbage right now. <laughs> what would it cost to get it to four? It costs two, three, and four, which means nine points. 
Well, if we get a big, if we ever get a big shot of uh, points, I might consider it. What's my maximum actually? Nine, I think, or maybe slightly less. Eight, yeah, slightly less. New etiquette. Dude, that's why I'm missing the etiquettes. I need. Oh well, you know what? I know what I'm working on. Next. After, after melee, I know what I'm working on. Hey boy, Johnny Clean. Thanks to the semiconductor-based gene sequencing system that David employed, we should have the information. I hit a button by accident on my mouse. My mouse has some weird buttons that just whatever. The minimized games. I don't think you actually saw anything though. The recording's pretty stable. Will you stop doing that? Is this? This is what's doing it. There's a hidden button on my mouse that I've never seen before. I see it now. <laughs> what kind of mouse is that? Uh, it's a new mouse. All right. Well, anyway. Anyway. Uh, well, yeah. I'm really impressed with this. Uh, with his results, considering it was his first attempt, he was utilizing an unproven technique he'd read about in the science journal, and he was working from memory on minimal sleep. Okay. So he he might maybe a uh, genius. That's great, what's the plan then? We hit the Lone Star DNA database first to see if our donor has a prior criminal record. They have extensive DNA archives. Then we go hunting based on what we find. Let's hit the Dex and Jack into the matrix. I can get into the private grid easily, but I've got to warn you, once we're in, it could get a little rough. How much decking experience have you had? Zero. I have a trode net here, it's a headband you wear that lets you piggyback me in the matrix. You'll see and hear everything I do. Thanks. Killer, medic, suppression, sniffer, and ESP. Uh, I guess we're gonna go with confirm. We're in. <sighs> okay, so we're in with uh, Johnny Boy, and this it, that arc will take us to the next node. All right, well, here we go. Pion, Johnny Clean Persona. The data store ahead is defended by intrusion countermeasures. Lone Star Data Store. Yeah. All right. Those are countermeasures, by the way. <laughs> Accuracy 15%. Jeez. Alright, let's create an attacker ESP program or something. Sup? What, is it, what does the ESP do? Attacks. I guess it attacks again. Hey, it's dead. Increases your chance to hit versus enemy I see. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does at all. Let's just improve our aim. Line of sight blocked. Well then. This? I don't know. Actually, it costs 3 AP and I don't have that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just put myself in range of him. Uh, this is a support and this is a kill thing. Powerful attack. Yeah, it's minus 50 because it's shielded. Maybe I should go with this. Oh, you have a lot of uh, action points. 
All right, let's draw some fire and shoot some fire. Okay, the support's gone. That's good. Uh, oops. This is back. It's nice. And then I guess we just shoot the heck out of it. Dang it! There you go. I see it's down. Let's see if there's a match for the. F Did you say the fingerprint? I think I'm pretty sure it's DNA. 100% match for Silas Forsberg. Deceased. I'm pretty sure he's not deceased. Chop chop surgical assistant. Uh, chop shop surgical assistant. I don't know. Maybe um, maybe the morgue guy actually knows. Breaking and entering, public indecency, notification, accusations of li unlicensed plastic surgery. Okay. That was match to a dead man? Let's keep looking. You mean let's explore other places? Let's go in there and see what happens is there anything here autopsy records well that does sound nice hmm ah there is an enemy here oh, let's actually use the big attack there you are hi sorry did i bother you i'm sorry Let's bother you some more. Oh, there's a thing there. Okay, let's just increase our hit chance. Actually, I have some healing that I probably should do because I got hit earlier. 49, wasn't it 50 that I got hit with? There you go. Uh, you can just kill it. So we're done here. What's this? Autopsy records. Silas Fosberg. Subject was found overdosed on half a dozen different sedatives. Several anti-anxiety medications were also found in his system. Face was mutilated, possibly self-inflicted. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to the disfigurement. Had to check dental records to confirm. The next of kin. Large puncture wounds were found in several places on the body, possibly large bore surgical needles. Body had been decomposing for several weeks before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police when no one answered the door. This just keeps getting weirder. I don't know, this actually explains a great deal. That just means that uh, he's not dead. They found a body that they ID'd wrongly to him, when it wasn't him. Yeah, okay, I was very careless here. Okay, get in here. Get to some cover somewhere. And then kill some jerks. Like this guy. Might be damaged. This. I don't think I care about my ESP too much. Alright. Is this a melee? Reduces incoming damage. I think you're a little late on that. Let's heal our attack program because that's a useful program to have. Can you just kill the thing? Yeah, you can just kill the thing. That's what I thought. Line of sight is blocked, but it's a mage. He's not actually like a threat. There you go. Alright. Newsnet archive. Uh, on subject Silas Forsberg. The body of Silas Forsberg, a chop shop surgical assistant, was found in an apartment in Snohomish earlier this week. 
The body had been there for as long as a month when Forsberg's landlord noticed a rancid smell and contacted authorities. Lone Star representatives have issued a statement saying Forsberg's death has been ruled a suicide. According to reports, his body, a mass of puncture wounds, and the cause of death was determined to be an overdose of anti-stress medications and sedatives. The man's employer claims he was a dedicated employee, though he suffered from bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located, but the attorney appointed to his estate uh, has located a will written weeks prior, leaving all of his belongings to his psychiatrist. The identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns. Yet another sad end to a life, as is far too common here in the sprawl. Okay, it almost sounds like this psych psychiatrist pushed him to suicide. If you don't think that his death was falsified. Well, that may be something we can go on. Let's regroup and meet. Meet what? I don't know, I wasn't following what he was saying. Will you please go somewhere? I think he said to regroup, maybe? You know what, whatever. So here's what we're now. Our DNA evidence belongs to a damn man whose death was never explained. He worked with chop shops, which fits with the living guy that you have met. The news net says that he left his estate to his psychiatrist. Maybe finding out who his psychiatrist was will give us our next clue. My gut says we can deck in to the medical board's records. I'm a verse trace to find his doctor. You win? Sure. I, don't know, I mean, if his death was indeed like fate, uh, the psychiatrist, in theory, is gonna be a fake that leads back to him because he's gonna want his belongings back, right? Well, that depends on how much he's willing to sacrifice for this whole deal. But assuming he's not willing to necessarily sacrifice every single belonging he has, sending it to the psychiatrist makes everybody think, oh, the psychiatrist maybe pushed him to suicide and makes a crunchy story, but also, um, if, the, if that just leads back to him, then yeah, he gets his stuff back, but it also gives us a lead back to him. Try to clean persona. All right. Maybe I should have summoned the thing first. I really should have. What are you? A uh, white sparky. Interesting. I'm gonna hit you with that. There we go. I want to destroy the sphere first. Because the whites tend to be just support mages. Yeah, he is charging a thing. Don't like the sound of that. I'm just gonna help my accuracy because it's trash currently. And I'm just gonna kill you. There we go. Okay, what is this? Medical board. Silas Forsberg. Located! Um, 2020-2030? Pediatric record. Partial one. One particular peda pediatrician's entry stands out from the rest. Child suffers from a chronic depression and social anxiety, most likely caused by his physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently, with the outbreak of changeling children being born. With the aberrant physiology we're seeing, there is no telling what sort of brain functions are affected. Prescribed a series of sedatives last year that seemed to have no effect, upping the dosage. Oh, that's not good. That was 2030, right? Let's do 3040. Data missing or corrupted? Dang. The file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. Final entry, however, is the most significant and is written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Silas has overcome in bleh, significant mental disorders and no longer do goes through periods of violent episodes. Latest medications have proven especially effective, but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. 
Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with him have proven challenging. He has bonded to me in an unhealthy and frankly an unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of mimicked speech patterns and adopting my dress. For this reason and for the health of the patient, I am assigning another doctor to his case. I will inform him at his next session. Huh? Okay. Got a name now, Dr. Holmes. Let's keep going, find out where he works. That is indeed a good idea. Actually, you should lead the charge. You're slow. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, in turn. Alright, what's up? What's in here? It's a thing! And a spiky thing! It's a black icy, holy shit. Oh! Even the offensive ones are white ICs. I see. Um, actually, you don't need the spell for that. Never mind the spell. Just shoot the thing. Good. And then use the spell. Good stuff. Missed, cause you suck. Sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill you. Right there. Well, not with that attack. With the next one. It has more accuracy than my normal attack. That's kind of interesting. Oh yeah. All right. Get out of the. Get out of the gate, cause you're probably gonna need to go out there after all. After this. Henry Hollings Holmes, M.D., Ph.D. Current employment status, please. Currently holds the position of Chief Psychiatrist and Administrator at Mercy Mental Hospital, Sonoho, Washington, UCAS. Previous employees. 4555 in residence, Mercy Mental Hospital. Oh, 3040 private practice, then a psychiatrist at Mercy, and then in 45 he got his thing. Alright, leave. Mango, back to meat space again. Sure. You can't make it that far. Alright. Okay, maybe... Why is the game minimizing? This is not my mouse is doing this time. Get back in here, just to check. Okay. Mm, no one actually... Uh, no reaction to try to stop me from leaving. That's good. I don't know if it can happen, but maybe. Who knows? 